Jesus, peace be upon them, is known as one of the most pure and virtuous women. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has dedicated a whole chapter in the Quran about her, named Surah Maryam. Her story begins with the story of her mother, the wife of Imran a.s. Imran a.s. was a righteous man of God from Banu Israel who had devoted himself to worship in the House of Holiness, Masjid al-Aqsa, the holy mosque in Jerusalem. Imran a.s. died while his wife was pregnant. It was then the custom of religious families to dedicate some of their male progeny to the service of the holy mosque. Therefore, the wife of Imran a.s. swore to dedicate what she carried in her womb wholly and completely to the service of Allah, in hoping that a child would become a righteous servant of the holy masjid. Then came a surprise that Imran a.s. wife was not expecting. She bore a girl and not a boy. A girl could not serve the holy masjid in the way a boy could, in devoting himself to worship and in serving the masjid's frequenters. It was also the custom that if a child was sworn to the service of the holy mosque, one of the worshippers would sponsor the child to teach and guide him. When the worshippers saw that the sworn child was a girl, they differed among themselves on what to do, so they agreed to let Allah rule on the matter. The worshippers all gathered at a flowing river. In some narrations, it was the Jordan River, and each brought his pen, which was said to be made of either cane or feather. They then asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the pen of he who would sponsor Maryam salam to flow against the current, if the female child was even to be sponsored at all. They cast their pens into the river, and all flowed with the current except one, Zakaria Islam's pen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, And so it was that her Lord accepted Mary with goodly acceptance and caused her to grow up wholesomely in the years of her growing, and he entrusted her to the foster care of Zakaria Islam. Zakaria al-Islam, who was a noble prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, took great care of Maryam al-Islam's upbringing and education, and she also put great effort into her worship. Maryam al-Islam took to a far and isolated area west of the holy masjid, where she devoted herself to worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one ever came in to visit her except for Zakaria a.s. and a paternal cousin of hers named Yusuf al-Najjar. Maryam a.s. eventually reached such a high level of nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she would converse with the angels and they would bring her provisions from the heavens. Zakaria a.s. once entered Maryam a.s. quarters and found fruits that were not in season at the time. She would receive summer fruits in the winter season and winter fruits in the summer seasons. Zakaria al-Islam's surprise and Maryam al-Islam's response to this are narrated in the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Whenever Zakaria entered upon her place in the sanctuary, he found her with provisions. He said, O Mary, from where did this come to you? She said, It is from God. Indeed, God provides for whomever he so wills without measure.